Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Today, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I think we're just gonna go with Isaac. Uh, we've beaten the lamb, and we still have the chest, uh, well, which we should now have unlocked. As well as, you know, we might as well aim for the boss rush while we're at it, right? Plus, who doesn't like playing with the D6? Uh, I'll take that. I don't want to reroll that. Uh, basically, uh, if you get hit from the front, I believe it's just the front, though I could be wrong. Damn. Aggressive. Uh, but I'm not going to complain about the fact that we are going to get access to those bombs. I'm going to check out and see first, though, if this could possibly be the secret room. So I can get the secret room at the same time. That'll help quite a bit. Especially since we're already doing pretty good. Uh, yeah, just check over here. Alright, so it's more likely that up is the way. Now, uh, you want to wait to destroy the rainbow poop, because uh, it fully heals you. Okay, our luck is higher than what one might expect. Alright, so it appears though it wasn't there, but we traded one bomb for four, so I'm not complaining. Not one bit. Anything in these poops? It really looks like that should be where the secret room is. And, yeah, I'll totally do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. Uh, and we get two spirit hearts, along with this poop. Uh, the spirit hearts will pretty much uh, guarantee, and I say pretty much guarantee because it might not, uh, that we get to deal with the devil on this next floor. Now we didn't use the dice at all, which is uh, kind of surprising, honestly. Lust. Uh, you know what? Why don't you drop the virus lust so I can reroll it? Because I don't hate the virus, but I'm not really all that keen on it. Dead bird, you know we're gonna let it sit there? We're gonna let it sit there just in case. I don't have a key, so I might have to wait a while to get to the item room. Hopefully I don't, but you never know. Clear up these flies so we can kill this last guy here. Now should I go... I think I'm just gonna check out the smaller room first. Oh, well, looks like we really have no choice but to go to the big room. Let's see, I'm trying to think of the best way to clear this out. I think it's going to be to just, uh... Oof. I'm trying to take advantage of the mask there, but, uh... Looking for tinted rocks real briefly as we ro rotate through. It really shouldn't be that hard. Just have to keep moving just enough that their aim is off. Uh, a key. I will totally trade a bomb for a key because we're going to need it for the item room. Just want to see if there are any tinted rocks nearby, and it appears as though there weren't. And we found our item room with a reroll still to go. And I'll probably end up trading a bomb for this chest. Uh, just because we're doing so well on bombs. Oh, don't even have to. Alright, that's more likely to get us spirit hearts. Uh, the Ankh makes us likely to respawn as Blue Baby. I'll take it, because uh, I'm only, if, at best case, I'm going to get one more reroll. Best case. And that is looking likely to be a... Uh, like, I, I need the boss room to, uh, I need this room down here to be a fighting room. If it's not, and it's not. So I've made some mistakes here uh, that are going to cost me possibly my chance to deal with the devil. I really need to now look for... <sighs> Well, I could look for a secret room if greed's in it, which I don't even think he can be. So we're taking the dead bird. I do not see a tinted rock. 
in there. There wasn't one in there. I looked and didn't see any, but I'm just double checking. Don't want to take too much time here. Doesn't look like there's any tinted rocks. So it looks like I'm going to have to just not take damage on the boss. So Monstro, yay. Monstro I can deal with. Uh, although this spider is, cause, is gonna cause trouble. So, so I don't have another reroll for the floor. Uh, but I think I like the dead bird better than the virus anyway, despite the fact that they both require getting hit. Which, of course, is something that I'm not particularly fond of in an item. Just inherently not all that great. Although I actually believe technically the dead bird is take damage uh, versus getting hit, which isn't a huge difference, but it is a difference. Because uh, the virus will proc on touching enemies while you are invincible, I believe. Looks like we're still gonna get a deal with the devil here. And magic mushroom is in all stats up, which is amazing. Uh, Guppy's hairball. I'm gonna pass. I don't have anything against Guppy's hairball, but uh, I don't really want it either. And we've got some black hearts for this floor. Obviously, oh, curse of the labyrinth. Possibly good, possibly bad. Nice, thank you for reducing that, uh, or preventing that damage. So I now have a reroll. Which is kind of unfortunate because we don't have an item room particularly close. And even if we did, uh, I don't have a key to open it. So, well, that changes that. Come on, creep, go away. So now we just need to find that room. Now this is our curse room. I'm going to wait to go to it. Magic Mushroom has a 1.5 times damage multiplier. I believe that's still how it works. That's how it used to be. Go away, Keeper. Just die. Just, just die. There we go. Now it's your turn. Now there's, of course, two item rooms. somewhere on this floor. And I would like to find both of them sooner rather than later. Speed up. That is going to help very much during this room. Not a fan of this room. Spiders move in slightly unpredictable patterns. I mean, they are mostly predictable. I mean, you can tell they're gonna go somewhere kind of inconvenient, and they tend to move in a straight line. It's just when they choose to move, they move very quickly. Self-sacrifice room, not interested. We've got a long room and a short room. This is not what I was hoping for. There's a lot of rooms on this floor, which means there's a lot of potential. A lot of potential for just wasting rerolls, basically. But we are getting a good amount of soul hearts, so I don't know if I can really complain. A little worried about that fire getting me, because I'm fo gonna be focused on these guys. Looks like the shop is getting more viable. Still no idea where the item room is though, but since it needs to be an end room, I don't mind sticking it out a little bit. Can't get that money. Almost got me, Nub, but not quite. And it looks like we're gonna clear this room with relative ease as well. Now I'm gonna go down, because once again, as I was saying, end room for the item room. Now that doesn't mean that item rooms can't end up in places that um, you might not expect them to be. Uh, that's unfortunate. I don't think that sentence made sense, but I honestly don't remember what I said right now. They can still end up in weird places, uh, is basically the, the what I'm trying to get at. But by sticking near the edge of the map, uh, you're more likely to find item rooms. Because the edge of the map has pretty much all the end rooms. 
Oh, well, this could be the top secret room from what I'm looking at. Definitely worth a bomb for a soul heart. That's a standard tinted rock. Uh, honestly tempted to, uh, ooh, I forgot these guys explode. They're holding their breaths, presumably because that's what's preventing them from exploding. If you exhale, ever, you will die. Well, an extra key, so I'm gonna do it. What is this? I don't know what that is. Which means I kinda have to buy it. Blank card mimic. I'm... Oh... Did I just use the Empress card without using the Empress card? Cool. Well, you earned it. I will be back. I have something that I've bought. Mom's purse is interesting. I'm tempted by it. Most assuredly tempted by it. And I guess now that i found an item room, uh, we'll see how tempted, tempt, okay, well, that shoop to whoops gonna get re-rolled before that. Uh, because I can't use shoop to whoop, I'm keeping the d6. Getting rid of the d6 is usually a bad plan unless it's really late in the game and you need the DPS. So, free bombs, no complaints. Almost got hit by that, very dangerous. Still tempted to go get that, the only, ooh. Man, really a double? This is like super dangerous because the because uh, the holes in the floor can't go the way I wanted to. Well, we wait. Really, that's the extent of the XL floor. Really? Well, I guess we're gonna go fight the boss. I was expecting this to be much larger. Uh, so I'm not getting another reroll. There are two bosses, so I'm, I'd get close, but the secret room would have to be greed. Darn it. Gertie. I unlocked something cute. Not quite sure what made that happen. I really don't like you. Enough that I'm going to use the Empress card on you. I, say, I know you're freaking there. You subterranean obnoxious thing. Just die. Just do everybody a favor and die. Oh. Well, dead bird's out and about. So, come on, dead bird, be useful. Oh, it managed to spawn one. It managed to spawn one. And no deal with the devil. That's really unfortunate. Um, so... Yeah. That's gonna be the way that that works. Uh, however, we might actually be able to find the secret room, reasonably. Uh, because it looks like... Well, I'm going, I'm going to the curse room. Let's see what's in the curse room. Curse rooms now can have combat. And in fact, it does. Which gets me one roll closer. I'm looking for a key. This is what I'm looking for. Uh, and I can go to the challenge room, presuming I don't take damage here. So I can't get another reroll. I'm going to be spending a lot of... Oh, I can't. Oh, wait, no. There are hearts around. There are hearts around. I just have to find them. As long as it's not a boss challenge room. And to be honest, uh, I've, I've got 12 minutes to clear the next two floors. Because I shouldn't be here too much longer. That speed up is actually going to be very useful for getting around quickly. The curse room will take, or the curse room, the challenge room will take its sweet time, however. Oh wow, uh, so that's a lot of money. Ooh, which, oh, I have a, there's another option uh, going around here. Of course, I still have to clear this, but. With 14 cents, I can almost buy the map. I really want to institute, like, a cardinal rule of, uh, donate until the machine breaks and then start buying stuff from the shop, because that will, uh, that'll make sure that I end up getting the shop upgrades. I 
like that item. Alright, so I guess I'm taking Mom's purse. I'm okay with that, because I will grab that calloused item and then I can get that chest even. Actually, I didn't even think about that as a side effect, but we're gonna reroll Shoop to Whoop. Because it can't, it can't be worse. Capricorn, all stats up. Uh, and it gave me a penny? It gave me a penny and a key. Oh. Oh, that's amazing. Alright, well, um, map, purse. I was thinking about buying the reroll there, but I have no need to do that right now. There's a lot that's going on right here. I'm probably sacrificing my chance for the boss rush by doing this. And I'm okay with that. Uh, I'd rather have a really awesome run that's powerful and fun. There are going to be a lot of chances to play this game and get the boss rush. And maybe when I have better items too. We'll see. But it gave me a key which means I can get the item. So hard. That gives me a better chance for a deal with the devil next floor. Which is definitely a boon. But that key that I got... Oh, that's Cricket's body! I've, I haven't actually gotten this, I've just seen it. Uh, but I'm pretty sure my damage is now going to be, for lack of a better word, ridiculous. So let's go wreck some faces. We might, with that damage, we might actually just be able to power through. Oh, I have the map. So... Uh, Cricket's body is causing all sorts of havoc. I don't need to go there. Just look at the damage. Just look at the damage. We are doing tons of damage. Don't know what it is. I can see forever, so we get secret rooms. We just straight get secret rooms. I like this floor already. This floor is going to go fast. There's not going to be any searching for secret rooms or anything like that. Just bam. Uh, I'm going to guess that the item rooms... Nope, I was going to guess that that's where the item room was. Splash damage is going to hopefully give us a better uh, ability to kill the zombies. I would say that it did. Oof. I mean, look at the size of our tears. Like, that... Ooh. That's a pretty good indicator already, if you ask me, how the run's going, because... I mean, seriously. The tears are huge. I'm trying to not take damage. Luckily, I didn't. I don't have a key just yet. But I've got enough bombs to get these. Oh my gosh, and just two rerolls. That is exactly what that is. There's two rerolls. Just sitting there. Begging to be used. And they're not gonna get used! Oh man, Halo. I am one holy son of a gun. I'd like to get a spirit heart before too long. Alright, this isn't a challenging room necessarily. We've got, like, a damage up on every floor. I've got a bunch of rerolls that can be used, like, whenever I want. I do need to find, like, the overall top secret room. Another soul heart. Better chance for that. Oof, look at that clear time. I'm looking for more money, uh, basically. So, ooh, invisible champion. Okay. See, I don't think I've seen the champion that actually goes invisible just yet. Alright, well, that's six cents. Let's go fight the boss. It's low key. The boss item might not be the greatest item in the world, or the, uh, the devil room might not be the greatest. Either way, the double room is going to get priority. Uh, yeah. Krampus. Uh, if it's Krampus's head, I will re-roll it. If it's Lump of Coal, I will leave it alone, because that's a damage up. I mean, usually I take... Ah, uh, I was going to say, usually I take damage on Krampus. Lump of Coal. I said I'd take it. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking for out of this, but I have the ability to re-roll it a crap ton. So there's kind of, like, no reason for me not to. I want that. I'm not gonna get it, but I want it. I'm gonna go clear rooms here looking for money and, well, what do you know? Oh, damn it. Well, now I'm opening that. 
It was not the original intention, but uh, unfortunately I opened it anyway. Don't want that. That's a shame. I don't see any tinted rocks here. So, I could possibly get more money. I'm gonna do this. There's no way I'm not. Um, I don't want to health up. Mom's coin purse, interesting, but the the pills, I haven't seen enough pills. I haven't seen enough pills to know. There's definitely an I can see forever. Wow, why did I go here? There's an I can see forever, I know that, and I know that there is... What, what else was there? I'm not sure. Uh, a luck up. Alright, well, damage and range up. So, because I cannot buy that, I'm just going to donate. I'm, I'm feeling confident in my spirit-heartedness. Oh my gosh. We have the map so I can more strategically aim for mom. I'm looking here. What's our time? Our time is going to be close. Uh, I bet I know where it is. I'm guessing, mind you. Oh, I can just run through that. Okay. Ah, okay, nope. Not happening. 15 seconds? Oh my gosh, it's really gonna make me wait to kill these damn things. Yeah, 15 seconds is long past. I shouldn't have done it. I don't know why I did. I went, my damage is good. Just not good enough. Well, I'm taking the Polaroid because we're going for the chest. Guppy's tail. I haven't bought anything yet. I don't have a reroll. I have grossly misplayed this floor. You gotta try. 15 seconds with great damage could happen. Alright, well, we can slow down and I can be more abusive to the game. Because my damage is ridiculous. I, this is totally a chest run. Like, the item that I would have gotten on that floor would have helped, but I don't think it would have made or break the- made or broken the run. Honestly, the, uh, the callus... Well, that's gonna re significantly reduce my double room chances. Mom's Pro has not been proccing as much as I'd like, I don't think. Just haven't seen very many. There's a Tinted Rock. Two spirit hearts. Chestception. I'm leaving those two spirit hearts for now. I can come back to them easily later. Which I will do. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune spawns either a fortune teller machine or... Um, right, or a... Uh, slot machine. Dirt. Uh, as one might have imagined. The secret room's not there. It's not there either. Curse room, though. I might just go to the curse room. What's this? Health down. That. I'm not happy to see that pill, that's for sure. I'm not convinced that we're going to be screwed either way, but... A lot of hearts sitting around. I know I'm only getting one reroll. So 
so there's really no point in just going straight for the boss. I'm just clearing the floor. At this point, I probably would trade away uh, the D6. Well, actually, no, I wouldn't, because if we're... Uh, okay. Well, bloat, get wrecked, and don't ever come back. So that's HP tears up and shot speed down. Oh, you can, you can see lump of coal working as they go across the room. That's amazing. I love it. I love it. That shot speed down is actually really nice. Uh, I'm gonna go just go to the curse room from here. There's no reason not to. Can possibly get spirit hearts from these guys. Guppy's collar. Should have re-rolled it. I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, it'd be cool to become Guppy this run, but I'm by no means, like, all that desiring of it. Um, taking the soul hearts. I could, like, maybe check out the challenge room once I get my hearts filled back up. I'm not particularly uh, tied to the idea, though. Still one health short. And we're just gonna go on. Technically, I'm pretty sure I... Oh, never mind. Well, I'm pretty sure that if I wanted to, I could go check out that challenge room, but I'm not... I don't really care. Not that much. Your chance of benefiting from one of those rooms is so tiny. Damn it. I'm really sad that I even took one hit of damage there. I really should just be like rushing mom's heart, but... This is one of those runs where I feel really powerful, and I just... I want to kill stuff. I just very much want to kill stuff. That's... That, that, I so much enjoy that part of the game, like, you're having a powerful run. I want to wreck the world. Thank you, Mask of Infamy, for soaking that damage for me because I am playing so poorly. I want to keep what I had. Liberty Cap can be nice because it has the uh, chance to give you the compass effect on a random room, which is very nice. But uh, because I'm taking my time, that's not something that actually particularly interests me. I'm going to clear all the rooms anyway. Getting to the boss faster, one direction, you know, one way over another. Yeah, I'm being stupid and killing him this way. I could do it other ways. Health up. Well, thank you, game. I thought I'd already discovered the health up pill. Uh, I'm not going to destroy that rainbow poop just yet. I'll have to remember that it is there. I don't think that'll be too hard, though. If, if I'm really hurting on health, I'll remember. Just die. Just die. Look at that damage. Mmm, delicious. Oh, your tears. Your tears sustain me. I'm just gonna wait. Okay. Uh, free reroll if I so desire. Okay, interesting. Trading three bombs for four is what this is gonna end up being, then. And the information to not use explosive rocks as bridges uh, is basically also what I'm getting out of that. Oh, wait a minute. I can just go get it because <laughs> I have a callus. Sweet. So that's not even going to cost me a key if I, for whatever reason, need a reroll. I'm actually not sure I've taken red heart damage on the floor yet. I know that I lost all my spirit hearts. Hello, broomstone spiders. Now you die. Alright, there's gonna be hands. They're not gonna last long. How many? Just two. Just two. Self-sacrifice room. Once again, very close. Actually, it doesn't... Ooh. I kinda wanna just see what this is. 
It's really bad that I think this is awesome. This is just chaos. I like it. Well, I can see forever. Are there any tinted rocks? Nope. Well, so time to run through. Well, guess what, guys? I've picked up two parts of Guppy. I don't actually want that. And I've got a free reroll sitting on the floor. Hmm, it's almost as though the game knew it was going to give me that. Almost. I don't believe the game had any plan. I, I believe in R and Jesus. Game, your troll is abs. It's actually a little impressive, to to be honest. Do I really want to keep this? I honestly, like, it's a cool thing, but I don't think I want it. I can't even see the tears that are coming out. All I know is that the Mask of Infamy is, like, actually doing a ton for me here. Well, I took Red Heart damage. It doesn't matter, but... Like, I should say, it doesn't actually matter. I suppose what's going on in this floor. There is a cursed room that I'm totally going to. Um, there is somewhere, and I do mean somewhere, a secret room that I want to go check out. I'm not entirely sure where it is. I mean, I'm going to lose it on the way out. Or not. Well, hello, game. Welcome to the party? Like, I don't... Don't know what your intention was there, game. I do have the rainbow poop to fully heal me. Let's check out the secret room first, because it's got to be down here. Yeah. Oh, free bombs, which I will use to blow these guys up. You get two cents and some spiders. Uh, and entrance to the boss challenge room. For a heart, which I don't need. But maybe a drop afterwards. But also the lulls of seeing the early bosses getting wrecked. Loki, we have fought you before. You gave us this wonderful damage up that we are now using to destroy your face. Chubb, we've killed many of your kind. And that's the boss challenge room. For the other heart to heal me the rest of the way. So now I don't need to blow up the rainbow poop. The rainbow poop can survive. It can survive another day. Alright. So I believe the course of action from here is just, uh... Up, up, up! This is a really powerful run. I'm really happy about the way this is going. Curse of the Blind. So we won't see items. Not that I'm expecting to see items. As long as we don't get Curse of the Blind on the chest... Because that would be really obnoxious. Uh, I'm not going to pick up that, that soul heart, just in case. Like, literally just in case is the reasoning. Uh, well, either of these could be the secret room, so might as well pick one. Since there's no tinted rocks. The stars. Uh, that's not actually useful. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune might be useful, only in that... Um, If I take it all the way to the chest, I don't know how it works now. But the way it used to work was that if you basically got anything that could possibly give you an item in the chest, it gave you an item. So, you know. Hermit, also another uh, random teleport. Oh yes, my little gishes. Lots of red hearts dropping, it makes me glad I didn't pick up that one soul heart. Because if, heaven forbid, I take crap tons of damage, which is, you know, never an impossibility, 
Look, another tinted rock. I'm not going to actually take the hearts, but... Lots of money. Would love to see a donation machine now. Now that I've accepted that I won't get be able to buy anything. Greed, I don't like you. You don't like me. So I'm going to kill you. Except you brought two of you. Can I bring two of me one of these days? Because I'm pretty sure uh, there are some fights that I really should have had two of me against you. Well. So if we take damage, we do have the red hearts on the floor to, to heal. If we take red heart damage from this point. Go away, death. Death, I want you to just die. And we'll take care of these zombies. They won't be too much of a difficulty. Once again, rolling in money. That chained very well. Might as well just go to the big room. We've got Daddy Long Legs. I'm gonna try and take that guy out while running from the uh, randomness that is Daddy Long Legs' uh, attack. This attack here. And he's dead. Leaving us two bombs. Now, is there any tinted rock in here? I see some pots. The boss room. Alright, we're just gonna continue to clear the floor. I mean, I've got the red hearts to pretty much uh, recover any damage that I take. Because I'm not really taking much damage. Uh, the only thing that's proven able to deal me damage is those uh, bomb flies. Which, you know, good for them. Okay, I guess the Widow, because the Widow jumps a lot further than anybody should really ever jump. I was not expecting it to be able to clear that entire thing. Well, it gave us half a red heart, which is technically enough to cover the damage that it did to me. But there's another tinted rock. Uh, actually, I'm... <laughs> believe it or not, I'm actually tempted to wait and take all the spirit hearts after I defeat Isaac. Or, after I defeat Blue Baby. Am I, am I, I'm, I'm not that crazy, am I? Well, I still need to find secret rooms, but let's, uh, let's do this. I, I don't foresee this room being a challenge by any means. I could see maybe taking one hit of damage. And I almost did right there. But, like, none of these things that it is throwing at me are challenging. And even if I were to take one hit of damage, what it gave me in the chest, uh, in, in the golden chest that I opened the damn thing, is enough to recover it. Yeah, and that was it. Alright, so rolling in money. Rolling in confidence. Maybe bordering on overconfidence. That is definitely a possibility. I am definitely being a little overconfident right now. Alright. Greed, bring it. This run has just been amazing. I really wish we had gotten to bus boss rush mode. Because it really would have been shenanigans. Alright, so now we're going to look for top secret rooms. Here is a possibility. There's not. The other possibility is here. Here. And there it is. Just a buttload of hearts. Alright, well, I'll fight Isaac like this. Let's do it. Or, oh yeah, no, it is Isaac. Blue baby is the chest. What am I? I'm, I'm just... I'm getting ahead of myself, is what's happening. I'm actually producing so many tears that I'm getting distracted and can't see all of Isaac's tears. But we're already in phase three. Which tells you a lot about how this fight's going, and how it's going to end. The answer is ridiculously. Uh, so I can get hit in that corner, I guess. It's 
not the direction of the attack, because the direction up oh, and you're dead. Isaac's Tears is what just unlocked for me. I'm now going to collect all the spirit hearts around the floor. And we are presumably uh, going to head off to the chest. Presumably, of course. I I picked up the Polaroid and I'm going to you know, it like it based on everything that I know, this is what should happen. And if it doesn't, well, we'll be the first to find out, I guess. Um there are no more spirit hearts on the floor, so yeah. And Curse of the Blind uh, literally affected us zero because there were no items. So, indeed, the chest it be. We unlocked Isaac's Tears. Don't know what that is. I'm very curious. There's a giant door that I don't think I have the key to. I don't know what this is. Oh, sweet goodness. I, I think I've seen that... No, 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 I haven't seen that before. I've, I've picked up the item before, but I haven't actually seen what it was. Uh, well, let's, uh... Yeah, let's just pull you up. I don't feel like gambling on you. Ooh, I don't know what it is. Tears up and knockback shot. Guys, I think I can destroy the world, and we're gonna reroll the rest of the items in here. That's mom's eye, not mom's contact. Not actually all that acute on that one. Uh, the other one is bomb tears. Actually, yeah, no, I'm totally going for this one because uh, tear blast. <laughs> oh my gosh! You stand no chance! I am death. Dude, this is amazing. I'm I'm going to be going just a little nuts here. I can't even see incoming tears. I literally just I can't see anything except things dying. And there are charm tears in there too. I'm full clearing this floor. There's no way in hell I'm not. What's it? What's up, war? What's up, pestilence? How's it going? How do you like this stream of, in of death incarnate coming at ya? And I still possibly could get two more items. Imagine if one of those is like Polyphemus. I've got no words, guys. I'd like to thank uh, all the things that died in order to make this possible. Because I'm pretty sure it was a lot of things. Just wow. After this, I'll have a reroll. Hmm, dark one. Yes, charge at me. It died within the charge. If you want to get close to me, you have to charge through all these tears. Oh, I did get hit. I did get hit. Mostly because I couldn't see the tear coming at me. But I still got hit. Ooh. Stigmata's a damage and health up. And this one I don't remember. Conjoined friend! He's not gonna get to do anything! I just, I just don't even know. I just don't even know. Like, this fight isn't even... This is gonna be the first blue baby fight I have, and it's going to be such a stomping that Daddy Longlegs will be jealous. I'll admit my damage isn't actually as ridiculous as it looks, because I'm not one-shotting everything, but it's it's pretty ridiculous. There's now actually, like, positive health sitting on the floor. Well, I gotta look for secret rooms, guys. Why not? I totally forgot about my bomb tears. Oh no! Son of a gun. Well, that's why there's spirit hearts. Hi, Wrath. I can't even see the bombs. Can't even see the bombs. 
Oh look, Mr. Mega. Do I want to re-roll it or do I want to keep it? I kind of want to re-roll it. I mean... I have to leave this room. I, I can't get to the next room over without re-rolling it, so... Or without picking it up, I mean... It still takes a good bit of Stream of Tears to kill these guys. So... I would still like to see another damage up. I think I'm gonna re-roll Mr. Mega. I just don't use bombs. I'm not gonna use bombs. Unbreakable. Not actually all that interested. Uh, you can stand still and become invincible for if you stand still long enough. I wonder if these guys do the same dropping mechanics as they used to do. Is that something else to re-roll? I don't think we're gonna get very many more re-rolls though. We're running out of combat rooms. We were just straight running out of combat rooms. Uh, to the point there actually won't be any other rerolls. There will not be any other rerolls. What a sad day. Like that is, it's just a sad day. The chest is trivial though, which is amazing. A trivial chest. I love how this this room just showcases how shenanigans this is. Dead cat, no way in hell. That would make me guppy. That would make me guppy. So the answer is tempting, but no. I would love to be guppy. I am sure that I would absolutely crush. I will pick it up afterwards. How about that? That's what I'll do. Come on, Mega Ma. Bring it. Oh, I left you alive. No, I didn't. So top, check there for top secret room, or for secret room. Oh shoot. Right, I have to remember that room. I have to remember that room. Oh, I think I've actually picked up all the soul hearts. So I'm pretty sure that isn't the secret room. There is a door there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about the secret room, to be honest with you. I've got 16 bombs. Uh, yeah, I might as well... I mean, this every single one of these could be the top secret room. It's not, but it could be. That can't be... It could be the secret room, though, maybe? So, I mean, this is like a thing. Alright, so that is the secret room. Unfortunately, all those tears knocked that away. Mm, that might have happened in other rooms where I was doing this. Oh, a key beggar. You might be able to give me an item. You should do that, key beggar. You're gonna give me chests, but... Oh, sweet Jesus. I don't know if that's the right call or the wrong call. Big beautiful fly. Um, so it's technology. That's not technology too, that's technology. Um, mm, I don't think I ruined the run by doing it, but... But look at this. Look at how silly this is. Alright, so, I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. I'm going to, but not... Shoot. Uh, not before I kill Boo Baby. That's where the other soul heart was. I knew there was another soul heart on the floor. I'm gonna kill Boo Baby, and then I'm gonna take all the items that are a bad idea for me to take, just so we can see what it would have been. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Blue Baby. I got the D20 and Golden God. Golden God is mine, everybody. As stupid as that is, Golden God is mine. Uh, now what I am going to do here is... Uh, I'm going to take technology, we're going to see what it looks like. I'm going to take Dead Cat, just because I can. Alright, so this is what it would have been like to take technology. That's actually kind of disappointing. I'm glad I didn't take it. Cause like, I'm sure this is doing like a crap ton of damage. I'm 100% sure it is doing a, like a stupid amount of damage. Uh, but at the same time, uh, 
it's not like old technology in which the laser actually got so big it was retarded. So yeah, I took it and became Guppy. Yeah, I, I'm definitely glad I beat Blue Baby the way I did. But that's it. That's the chest. That is Golden God. I... I'm ecstatic about that run. That was an amazing run. As I said, still disappointed I didn't make Boss Rush, but I was damn close to Boss Rush. Damn close. This ending's interesting. Hurry up. Ooh, excuse me, it is a little late. But that was... Wow. Woo! That is a 1 in 100 run. Get it? 1 in 100 run? Um, I think I think that's the title for this episode, sadly. <laughs> 1 in 100. Uh, you know, you get some powerful runs, you get some runs that are good, they, they are effective, they do what they are supposed to do, and then you have runs where you are literally throwing a nuke at an anthill. And that, that is one of those runs. We're just like, uh, guys, we have ants. Well, we might as well just nuke everything. But yeah, sweet run, amazing, so much fun to play. I, I can't, I can't express how much just endorphins are going through me right now. Uh, I was tired and you heard me yawning. But I'm wired. <laughs> Tired yet wired. Uh, it feels good to have a run like that. That is why I like Isaac. Oh. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the shenanigans that was this episode as much as I did. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, whether it was, you know, maybe just some of the item choosing strategy... Um, I don't think I took a single deal with the devil, did I? I don't think I did. That's even weirder. That was a, a run that was that powerful, aiming for angel rooms, even. Ugh, anyway. I hope to see you guys next time. I hope that the next run is even half as ridiculous as this one. But either way, until then. <laughs>